algorithms and ad bands. Algorithms and ad bands. These are two major things you have to worry about when you're doing affiliate marketing. Now, why is affiliate marketing harder than most side hustles? Even though affiliate marketing can be, I didn't say it was, can be automated or on autopilot, as many people advertise it should be on autopilot, it is absolutely not. It is very intense, and anyone who tells you it's not intense is lying to you. So affiliate marketing, although you're not touching a physical product and shipping it out like e-commerce, you're dealing with customers in the same fashion. Like you might have somebody click on your link, your affiliate link, and they look at a product and then they have a question for you. And here's the trick. If you answer that question without putting your affiliate link in the answer, they might click back on or, or check it out or go to the website and now purchase the item without you getting credit or commission for that item. So there's a lot of things you have to watch out for when you're dealing, dealing with affiliate marketing because you're still dealing with customer service. Not everyone's gonna ask questions, but some people will. The algorithm part that's tricky when it comes to affiliate marketing is that you already have a lot of competition and then you have to specify yourself in a niche to have more success and to really launch off the algorithm. So if I was selling fitness wear, I'm gonna give you an example. If I was selling fitness wear, I had water bottles, um, joggers, uh, sweatshirts or shirts for like warmers, coolers, hand weights, ankle weights, uh, headbands, um, vitamins, or usually you won't put vitamins in the fitness wear, but I'm giving an example. If I was selling fitness wear, right? I'd probably have different outfits that I would be featuring. I'd be feature featuring different products, maybe protein shake mixers, things like that. And nine times out of 10, when you're dealing with accessories, you don't want to inter -niche it with clothing because um, that could become a problem for you and it can also hurt your profitability if you do that. So if you're selling fitness wear, which is going to pay you more commission than accessories like water bottles and protein bottles and things like that, if you're gonna do that, you might as well do drop shipping. And I'll talk more about that in further videos. But I just wanted to make this video because I'm gonna be making a video every day in the month of November and tomorrow's Thanksgiving. So to all of those celebrating Thanksgiving, shout out to you. I'm gonna be home all day, just me on my own, one-on-one -on -one with myself, making another video for you guys on Thanksgiving day. So generally what I wanna say here is that affiliate marketing is really not for the lazy. So if, you're, if you wanna create a business and you're thinking that, oh, I wanna have a business so that I don't have to do anything, um, you're making a horrible mistake because when it comes to affiliate marketing, site funnels and tracking funnels, right? Anyway, so some people use Twitter, Pinterest, some people use Facebook, and some people use um, Shopify. A lot of times people create their own websites, which is actually a pretty smart idea. It is a really good idea to start your own website when you're doing um, affiliate marketing because then you don't have to worry so much about overbranding. Right, when, I, when I'm saying overbranding is, you don't have to worry so much about putting your affiliate link in too many times. And then there's one more thing you have to worry about, one more thing you have to watch out for. And you're gonna need your own website anyway if you do it. And some people, they'll do affiliate marketing through Pinterest and then you'll get a question and uh, you'll end up putting your link in and then you might get this ad ban, which is basically it might ban your ad or it might affect your account. You might not be able to put ads or anything like that into your account. And you have to do a lot of different things in order to really launch your Pinterest account because you have to watch out for image copyrights and things of that nature. So you want to be very careful. Um, you want to be very brand specific and you want to be niche orientated when you do affiliate marketing. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to be doing a demonstration of what you need to be doing when you're doing affiliate marketing because I say this all the time on this channel, it's all about mentality, right? So I'm here to tell you the things that people will not tell you here on YouTube. Everybody wants to make it seem so easy, make everything seem like it's just this simple. And it's really not that simple. It's difficult and it's definitely not for the lazy. It's hard work, just like working a nine to five. The only difference is with affiliate marketing, you'll probably end up working two hours a day. And you're always gonna be working seven days a week. You'll never really not be working. But the one uh, thing that affiliate marketing could do for you better than e-commerce, an e-commerce business is you are not confined to one location. Because if you have an e-commerce business and you're handling your own merchandise, you're confined to a location. So you can't go out of town for a week 
without putting your store in vacation mode if you're on Kari, eBay, Depop, or, or something like that, or Poshmark. You have to, if you go to visit somewhere else, you have to put your store in vacation mode in case you sell something. Because if you don't ship it out within three days, you're gonna get bad marks. And you're not gonna really sell that many items if you do stuff like that. So keep that in mind. The next thing is, affiliate marketing gives you some benefits. Um, in other words, you'll never run out of inventory because the inventory is usually there and you'll know your inventory because you'll understand where you are. And if you're doing affiliate marketing through a company or you're going through ClickBank or going directly through a company to get your products and goods, there's usually thousands and thousands of these items in stock. Now, the only problem is, is that you have one more thing that you have to worry about. So I should say three, and that's competition. So the competition is going to affect these algorithms. And the more people selling the same product as you, um, they might come up on a search engine quicker than you. And you might have 50 or 60 other people that pop up on the search engine much better than you. At least there's not so much price gouging or anything like that. But uh, then you have to deal with those things. Because with e-commerce, you still have to deal with people beating you on price. With affiliate marketing, the price is usually priced. The only problem is you're you're getting commission. So um, it could take you a while to get your first check with affiliate marketing. So be careful with that. But it's but I think with affiliate marketing, especially if you're using Pinterest, you got to put a new pin, pin, pin after pin. But what's what are you really looking at? Like how many different products should you be offering in affiliate marketing to really make a lot of money? Some people might think that you only do one or two products or three products. I'm here to tell you that you have to have you're gonna have to have more than that. You're gonna have to have a lot of different products because somebody might not be in a mood to buy shirts or your competition is selling a lot of shirts, but your competition is not selling fitness boots. Your competition is not selling fitness socks. Your competition may not, or less competition may not be selling bottoms. Less competition might not be selling headbands. Gotta look out for these things because these are things that's going to affect the algorithm. And you wanna to try to get people to kind of purchase multiple pieces of merch uh, through your affiliate link. So you gotta be careful how you're posting your items. And it's like I said before, I don't have an affiliate <clears throat> marketing uh, site right now and I'm not doing affiliate marketing at the moment. I will probably end up getting back into affiliate marketing, but I'm really crunching down on my e-commerce business and my, um, because I do estate sales. So it might become necessary for me to continue doing it as long as I do estate sales because there's a lot of commission there and I have more control. So affiliate marketing, because of an inventory situation, might be a little bit more profitable in the long run. But e-commerce can be more profitable upfront. So if you want to make, let's say, five to six thousand dollars a month quickly, all you got to do is be ready to list at least a hundred to two items, hundred, a hundred to two hundred items per week, and you can do that. So if you can list a hundred to two hundred items per week, you can make more money with e-commerce. If you cannot list 100 to 200 100 items per week, and then you're looking at maybe making two to three thousand dollars or two thousand dollars a week, I mean a month. So, however much money, if you want to make ten thousand dollars a month with e-commerce, you better be posting at least 500 items a month. So that's maybe like 125 items per week, and the profitability of those items need to be ranged between twenty and fifty dollars. So, that's how you do that. But anyway, I'm done with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I have another surprise for you guys. I always say, son, you get so many movie out, a war in the world. When are you get one of this? Then I just look at my dad, ha ha ha. Dad, I only make comedy action movies. Many years later, I come to Hollywood, meeting with some big studio director, my friend's house, Stallone's house. There was. 23 years ago, I see these little things in his house. I touched it, I kissed it, I smelled it. I believe I still have my fingerprints in. The keep it. Then I talk to myself, I really want one. Finally, after 56 years film industry, making more than 200 films, I break so many bones. Finally, this is mine.